Ten seconds. We have a go for main engine. Start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Houston Discovery, roll program. Commander Mark Polanski confirming discovery, rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Speed of 1,000 miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange four and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines, startling back to two-thirds of the rate of thrust. Passing the air of maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic. There's a view from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for discovery. Altitude, eight miles. Speed, 1,700 miles an hour. Downrange, 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Minute and a half since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain, if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> 